Today I'm going to revise chapter outcomes of democracy. History of Africa has told you that no, no observations. So outcomes of democracy. This you have read about what is democracy. Write its features. No, you can write it in a better way because how many nines you have written are in your topic. Or basically, if you are reading Sarah Freke, so these will become features of democracy. First is how can you say democratic form of government is accountable, responsive. And legitimate. If you read the topic, you will have to write it. When you write, first of all, the accountable. You will tell me that the democratic form of government is accountable. It is unstable. Accountable means unstable. So, because representatives, who uh, do election contest, they have to face people in the next elections, and elections make our representatives accountable. यहाँ पे एक आप एक्टर भी बताओगे और वो एक्टर है आर्टिकल टाइप को परमिशन एक्टर भी है ना डेट में कवर इन परसेंट एक्टर्स अकाउंटेबल आर्टिकल में आप हमारे परसेंट एक्टर्स को अकाउंटेबल बनता है बिकॉज़ बाय दिस राइट पीपल हैव फुल राइट टू नो अबाउट द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट तो अकाउंटेबल को पहले आपने uh, elections make the representatives unstable because they have to face in the next elections. Article you have to do a hobby, a hurried person, government to countable rather because by this people have to write to know about the function of government. There is transparency, democracy, government, which you have a transparency, a transparent type of government. Next, responsive. Responsive means government to have always take responsive decisions according to the needs of the people, government make decisions. And while taking decisions, democratic form of government consult large number of the people of the society. And such decisions taken by government are always good for the whole of the society. And decisions taken by government, government is responsible for that. If we talk about the dictatorial people, they will never be responsible. Democratic form of government is always responsible for that is responsible for the decisions taken by people and government is responsible. Next, let's take a minute. Rulers are elected by people through elections. People elect their representatives according to their choice. So this may comment allegedly made. And in democratic form of comment, elections are held after fixed tenure. Chai kaisa bhi period a jaye, chai se ke corona period, comment election ko kabhi bhi postpone nahi kar sakti, elections ho nahi ho te. So elections are conducted at fixed tenure, no delay. So representatives are elected by people through elections. So this may cover government legitimate. Is it clear? Accountable may have unstable cover out there of decision making department out there of people who may be representatives are elected by people to elections. So this way, same thing with the democratic form of government to add that is accountable, responsive, and legitimate. You know, we have a paragraph for now. We have a paragraph for now. We have a paragraph for now. Economic growth and development in democratic countries is slow. Whereas in the material form of government, it is fast. So for this, uh, can we blame government for this? Or can we reject government for this? Um, government to blame for success, but we um, government to reject the biggest success, but we could be economic growth in democratic countries is slow. No, we can't blame government, we can't reject the government. Now, we will blame the government, and I am also reject the government. First of all, we will say it is the best form of government. There is no better option than democracy. Today, only one fourth world is non democratic. And uh, countries which are non democratic, they are also trying to become democratic because the best government and no better option than it. So, Firam when it is the best form of government, government can create conditions. It depends upon citizens to avail benefits or not. Citizens will depend upon that. So, who is the benefits? Okay. So, for slow economic growth and development, we can't blame government, we can't reject it. There are various other factors responsible for slow economic growth and development, and they are or who own such factors will be. First of all, you have to tell me the growing population. Then you have to tell me economic priorities adopted by the country, cooperation from other countries, and global situation. These are the factors responsible for slow economic growth and development. If you have to underline the points, slow economic growth and development, then you have to underline the points, slow economic growth and development. Then you have to underline the points, slow economic growth and development. Uh, economic priorities adopted by the country and growing population to cooperation from other countries. Underline these points, or Satmi Abhiru, the government will not reject the government for this. It is the best form of government. 
it can create only condition. It depends upon citizens to avail benefits or no. So we can't claim government for so it comes to that development. This may be full with government to not object to the man on the other claim that I'm going to have to be a moment responsible. Government to condition great principle citizens very well that that will only be not benefit to us. Next, inequality and poverty. In democratic union, which are challenged with us are money democratic countries to live. There is still inequality and poverty. When we talk about health care features, in democratic countries, there is no gap between rich and poor. All are treated equally. No gap in India, rich and poor, may one are treated equally. But still, we can see gap. We can get a gap in rich and poor. This is the major challenge faced by democratic countries in the States. So, this is the main challenge. Uh, rich are becoming richer day by day and poor are becoming poorer day by day. So, is, is because, why is it happening? Because wealth of the country is not equally distributed. So, rich is not equally distributed and poor, poor is not equally distributed. So, we have to say that we have to say that still, after so many years, the largest democracy and after so many years of independence, Still, 26 percent people are below poverty line. Under Bangladesh, 23 percent people are below poverty line. Half of the population, आज की डेट में भी वहाँ पे below poverty line है. Means democratic countries में this is a major challenge. Inequality and poverty there is gap between rich and poor. A lot of gap between rich and poor. देखो Bangladesh में अभी भी half of the population is below Poverty line. So, we say on this point to justify corruption in poverty and poverty approach. That this is the major challenge faced by democratic countries these days. Why? Because rich are becoming richer day by day, poor and poor are becoming poorer day by day. Wealth of the country is not equally distributed. For example, if you look at India, for example, you can see that the largest democratic country who may be still in India. Uh, so many people are below poverty line after so many years of independence. And in Bangladesh, half of the population is below poverty line. So there is inequality and poverty in democratic countries. Next, October 8, accommodation diversity. Accommodation of diversity. You have read about it in Belgium. Belgium, we have accommodation part of the country. Accommodation diversity. Democratic countries who has filled with the successful land because they have accommodated diversity in a proper manner by giving equal uh, powers, rights, by sharing powers with the people of diverse group. So democratic government has diverse group ke logo ke saath power sharing ki hui hai. So this is something that the democratic country has diversity to accommodate the others. In this way, democratic government is successful by accommodating sharing powers with the People of diverse group. Diverse group में लोगों के साथ उसने power share की है इंडिया लाचुन से वो कैसी है and in India people there is diversity सबको पता है इंडिया में diversity है there is unity in diversity in India people of diverse group live together in a same country in a peaceful manner because our government has shared its powers with the people of diverse group. अब इसमें अगर आपसे पूछा जाए which conditions are followed by democratic country to accommodate diversity. Why is it on the conditions for follow her to get accommodate diversity? First of all, I believe that our way came up majority and minority to know if they come for that majority minority could dominate neighbor city majority cannot do whatever it want as you have read in Sri Lanka. Mom, a majority in every member GDP. See, no, I was in only up this could dominate the other family. So in democratic countries, we have said that the majority cannot dominate, minority, majority and minority will be able to do the majority cannot do whatever it wants. Sinhala has done what they want. They have made the main language of Sinhala, they have done everything with their own language. They have ignored Tamil. They have ignored Tamil. Whereas in Belgium, they have kept everything equal. They have worked with the majority and minority. We have said that they have made the most of the Germans in the German speaking. उनके साथ भी उन्होंने कस्ती कर दिया। तो यहाँ भी श्रीलंका में उन्होंने कमोडेट नहीं किया था। ये फॉलोड है जो थे निज़म। तो इसमें हम बताएंगे कि मेजॉरिटी एंड माइनॉरिटी हैज़ टू वर्क टुगेदर। द मेजॉरिटी कैन नॉट डोमिनेट माइनॉरिटी, मेजॉरिटी कैन नॉट डू व्हाट एवर इट वांट। फिर अब आप बता सकते हो कि 
हम खुद ही कहते हैं कि नो डाउट इट इज अ रूल ऑफ मेजॉरिटी डेमोक्रेसी मेजॉरिटी का रूल है ना जो पार्टी जीत जाती है ड्यूरिंग इलेक्शंस जो पार्टी मेजॉरिटी शो करती है आफ्टर द इलेक्शंस एंड दैट पार्टी फॉर्म गवर्नमेंट जो भी मेजॉरिटी शो करती है जो मैक्सिमम सीट्स से मिलती है इन द लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली और इन पार्लियामेंट का जैसे पंजाब के इलेक्शंस हुए तो उस पार्टी को लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली में मेजॉरिटी सीट्स मिलेंगी मैक्सिमम सीट्स जिसे मिलेंगी वो पार्टी क्या बन जाएगी रूलिंग तो मींस डेमोक्रेसी जो है दैट इज द रूल ऑफ मेजॉरिटी नो डाउट इट इज द रूल ऑफ मेजॉरिटी बट मेजॉरिटी इज नॉट फॉर्मड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कास्ट रिलीजन लैंग्वेज तो मेजॉरिटी का पार्ट हर कोई बन सकता है एवरीवन कैन बी द पार्ट ऑफ मेजॉरिटी मे बी वो किसी भी कास्ट का देयर इज नो गैप बिटवीन रिच एंड पुअर नो डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कास्ट नो डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रिलीजन there are no frozen seats in the parliament for any religion or caste kisi community ke liye koi bhi parliament mein seats frozen nahi hai everyone can be the part of majority so this is the compare ke democracy jo hai accommodate diversity to ye condition se follow karni padegi which conditions first of all majority and minority has to work together majority cannot dominate minority majority cannot do whatever it want गवर्नमेंट शुड कैरी गवर्नमेंट को क्या लेकर चलना चाहिए जनरल व्यूज फिर हम कहेंगे नो डाउट डेमोक्रेसी इज द रूल ऑफ मेजोरिटी पार्टी दैट शो मेजोरिटी फॉर्म गवर्नमेंट बट हेयर मेजोरिटी इज नॉट फॉर्म ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कास्ट रिलीजन लैंग्वेज एवरी वन कैन बी द पार्ट ऑफ मेजोरिटी देर आर नो फ्रोजन सीट्स इन पार्लियामेंट फॉर एनी कम्युनिटी फॉर एनी कास्ट एवरी वन कैन बी द पार्ट ऑफ मेजोरिटी इन दिस डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट डेमोक्रेसी तो इसके बाद अगर आपको पूछिए प्रमोट द डिग्निटी ऑफ इट सिटीजन प्रमोट द डिग्निटी ऑफ इट सिटीजन बाय गिविंग दैम इक्वल राइट डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट प्रमोट डिग्निटी मीन्स रिस्पेक्ट promote the dignity of its citizens by giving them equal rights to yahan pe hum example de sakte hain ki pehle to ab batao earlier earlier the structure of the society was male dominated patriarchal society hoti thi world ki jo societies thi that were patriarchal societies male dominated society in the societies in the world women ko koi right nahi diye hue the aur sath mein jo non property owners the you have read chapter from उसमें आपने पढ़ा ही था कि नॉन प्रॉपर्टी ऑनर्स वर नॉट गिवन राइट टू वोट रिच को राइट टू वोट नहीं रिच को राइट टू वोट देते थे नॉन प्रॉपर्टी ऑनर्स को राइट टू वोट नहीं देते थे वुमेन को तो पैसे सिटीजन कहते होते थे फ्रांस में तो इट मीन्स डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट जो है हम कहेंगे प्रमोट द डिग्निटी ऑफ इट सिटीजन बाई गिविंग दम इक्वल राइट अर्लियर आप पहले पास्ट बताओगे स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सोसाइटी वॉज मेल डोमिनेटिंग या फिर पैट्रियार्चल सोसाइटीज वर देयर नो राइट टू वोट वॉज नो राइट सिंपल बताओ नो राइट वर गिवन टू वुमेन वुमेन को राइट नहीं मिले हुए थे वुमेन हैड टू स्ट्रगल अ लॉट टू टू गेट राइट इक्वल राइट एज गिवन टू मैन तो एज द कंट्रीज स्टार्टेड बिकमिंग डेमोक्रेटिक जैसे स्ट्रक्चर चेंज होना शुरू हुआ गवर्नमेंट का कंट्रीज स्टार्टेड बिकमिंग डेमोक्रेटिक दे स्टार्टेड गिविंग इक्वल राइट टू ऑल द सिटीजन तो उन्होंने सबको इक्वल राइट देने शुरू कर दिए तो यहाँ पे हम बताएंगे इंडिया इन नाइनटीन अगर फिफ्टी की हम बात करें जब हमारा न्यू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आया तो हमारी गवर्नमेंट ने हैज गिवन इक्वल राइट टू ऑल सबको इक्वल राइट दिए थे हमारी गवर्नमेंट ने तो देयर इज नो डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कास्ट जेंडर सबको इक्वल राइट दिए रिच एंड पोअर इक्वल राइट गिवन टू ऑल लीगल बेस वॉज ऑल्सो गिवन टू डूज राइट उन राइट को लीगल बेस भी दिया फैनी इंडस्ट्रीज डन विद द वुमेन शी कैन लॉन्च फेमुनिस्ट मूवमेंट तो इस वजह से हम फिर इंडिया की एग्जाम्पल बताएंगे कि इंडिया इज द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी एंड इन इंडिया सीट्स आर रिजर्व फॉर एस सी आई एस टी एंड इक्वल राइट आर गिवन टू वुमेन सो इन दिस वे वी कैन से गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रमोटेड द डिग्निटी ऑफ इट्स सिटीजन तो गवर्नमेंट ने एस सी एस टी की सीट्स रिजर्व करके लोगों को भी इक्वल राइट दिए तो इन दिस वे डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट प्रमोट द डिग्निटी ऑफ इट्स सिटीजन उसमेंटिंग 
the women had to struggle a lot to get equal rights. So, if you know, but as the country started becoming democratic, they started giving equal rights to citizens. India is the largest democracy, and in India, uh, equal rights are given to women as given to men, and legal base is also given to their rights. If any injustice is done with women, she can launch feminist movement. Feminist ka meaning pata? People who believe in equal rights for both men and women. Who believe in equal rights mein believe karte hai, men and women ke wo kon hote hai? Feminist. So in India, uh, aap kya sakte ho involved? Women can launch feminist movements. And in India, seats are reserved for SC and ST. In this way, we can say our government has promoted the dignity of these people also by giving them equal rights. So promote dignity may aap ne SC, ST and women ke baare hai rakhana hai. इधर आप बताओगे मजोरी माइनॉरिटी इस संदर्भ में इन टॉपिक में मजोरी माइनॉरिटी यहाँ पे बांग्लादेश एंड इंडिया यहाँ पे आपने गवर्नमेंट को ब्लेम नहीं करना है गवर्नमेंट के लिए इधर आंसरेबल रेस्पॉन्सिबल इलेक्टेड बाय गवर्नमेंट इस इलेक्टेड बाय पीपल इस संदर्भ में आंसरेबल आंसरेबल बता� Rulers are elected by people economic group to be common to do chapter 9 and now various other factors have worked in the area of global situation economic priorities adopted by the country in cooperation from other countries to information. In equality and poverty, we have to say that yes, there is gap, this is the major challenge. We have to say that the state people are below poverty line, so many people. And in Bangladesh, the population is below poverty line. So this is the major challenge faced by the country countries. फिर आपने बताना कंपोजिशन डाइवर्सिटी, डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट है, कंपोजिशन टूल या डाइवर्सिटी, देयर इस यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी नवर कंट्री, अवर गवर्नमेंट हैज शेयर्ड इट्स पावर्स विद द पीपल ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी, तो विच कंडीशंस गवर्नमेंट शुड फॉलो टू कंपोजिशन डाइवर्सिटी, मेजोरिटी � but here, majority is not found on the basis of caste, religion, language. Everyone can be the part of majority. Har ko is majority ka part ban sakta. Punjab mein jo bhi government chhutte hi tha na, to no doubt wo majority show karke power mein aayegi. Ab aap apne aap socho ki ab wo majority ek community ko leke bani hoyegi, ya ek caste ko leke banegi. No, everyone usme har tarah ke log hoyenge. Har religion, har caste ke aapko log milenge. To it means hum kehte to hai democracy mein jo bhi hai. Majority ka rule hai, but wo majority caste religion ko leke thoda bani hai, everyone can be the part of majority. BJP is ruling party at present in center, to BJP mein har caste, har religion ke loog aap ko milen hai. Maa pe aise to nahi hai parliament mein ke is community ki itani seats hai, is caste walo ki itani seats hai, there are no frozen seats in the parliament. To majority, no doubt it is a rule majority ka hai, majority means jo party majority show karti hai. जो मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ सीट्स लेके जाती है वो पार्टी मेजोरिटी पार्टी होती है तो यहाँ पे मेजोरिटी का मतलब ये नहीं है कि एक एक कास या एक रिलिजन को लेके बना दी ऐसा नहीं होता आपने ये जस्टिफाई करना है तो प्रमोट डिग्निटी में आपने बताना है कि वुमेन एंड एससी एंड एसटी और ये लिखने से पहले यू हैव टू मेंशन अबाउट इंडिया क्योंकि अगर आप डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्रीज एससी एसटी की सीट्स पे एक्सटेंड दैट इज रॉन्ग तो ये तो सिर्फ इंडिया की प्रॉब्लम है तो आप पहले ये लाइन लिखोगे इंडिया इस द लार्जेस्ट हम ओके स्टार्ट इन इंडिया सीट्स आर इस ऑफ फॉर एसी एंड एसटी एंड इक्वल राइट्स आर गिवन टू वुमेन तो ये वुमेन के लिए तो आप चेक कैसे भी लिखो आप चेक इंडिया ना भी मेंशन करो तो वर्ल्ड है बट आप अगर in this way, our government has promoted the dignity of these people also by giving them equal rights. And last topic of this lesson, in the lesson, I have told you, examination and testimony in democratic countries never gets over. Democracy, if one challenge overcomes, it produces another. So, what do you want to say? Democratic government is the best form of government. Expectations of people are more from it. तो जो बेस्ट होता है उससे आस उम्मीद भी हमारी बढ़ जाती है अगर गवर्नमेंट में कुछ फैसिलिटीज देती है पीपल वांट मोर एंड मोर पीपल नेवर गेट सेटिस्फाइड लोग कभी भी सेटिस्फाइड नहीं होते अगर गवर्नमेंट एक फैसिलिटी देती है कभी भी देखो पीपल ऑलवेज सी देयर पावर होल्डर्स रिपीटली बिकॉज़ दे वांट टू मेक देम बेस्ट वन को क्या बनाना चाहते हैं 
बेस्ट तो वी कैन से कि आज उम्मीद लोगों की बढ़ जाती है फ्रॉम द कमेंट बिकॉज़ इट इज द बेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ कमेंट एक्सपेक्टेशंस ऑफ पीपल आर मोर फ्रॉम इट इफ कमेंट गिव सम फैसिलिटीज पीपल नेवर गेट सेटिस्फाइड दे डिमांड मोर एंड मोर तो इन दिस वे वी कैन से कि इन डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट एग्जामिनेशन नेवर गेट्स ओवर क्योंकि गवर्नमेंट एक चैलेंज को ओवरकम करती है प्रोड्यूस एंड अदर इट प्रोड्यूस एंड अदर चैलेंज इन डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्रीज हम कहेंगे एग्जामिनेशन या फिर टेस्ट मनी वाला क्वेश्चन जो भी आपका नेवर गेट्स ओवर तो इज इट क्लियर अगर किसी 